15 years ago, the city of Hood River was rocked by the murder of 41-year-old Eric Tamiyasu. It's still a mystery, partly because of the strange events that happened both before he died and during the investigation afterwards. Tim Becker has more in tonight's Coin 6 Unsolved. It looked like he was in bed, sleeping, and he was shot. Eric Tamiyasu was murdered in his Hood River home in June of 2001. There was no struggle. Eric was 41 years old. They found a third bullet. And I said, my God, that can't be suicide. That's got to be murder. Don Dixon, Eric's friend, found his decomposing body in the upstairs bedroom of the house Eric had recently built next to his orchard on Bins Hill Road. And as I got to his room, the stench was incredible. As I was standing there, I looked to my left and I see him laying in bed and I yell, Eric. Did you know right then he's dead? By now I'm in shock. At the time, the gunshot wounds to Eric's head weren't evident, though Dixon was sure his friend was dead. He called 911. Investigator Gary Tiffany was one of several sheriff's deputies to initially show up. Somebody came in here for the sole purpose of killing Eric, and, and uh, you know they didn't steal anything, they didn't take anything. He's not somebody that had a lot of enemies. Didn't have a lot of enemies, but apparently had one. Apparently he did. Private investigator Darren Coates was hired by Eric's family when the Hood River Sheriff's Department wasn't finding answers. I don't know if they would say that it was botched. I think that they have questions about the way that some of this was handled. Those questions helped the case draw national attention a year after the murder. Network TV's Unsolved Mysteries dissected the investigation, pondering possible suspects, including Dixon, and then Sheriff Joseph Wampler, whose wife, according to Dixon, might have had a close personal relationship with the victim. Also, after they'd finished collecting the evidence, Wampler asked Dixon to burn the soiled bedding and mattress Eric was found on to spare his family grief and discomfort. But did that ruin crucial evidence? You would still want to hold that evidence until the case is resolved. So should the mattress have been burned? I, I don't think so. No, I don't believe anything was, uh, was lost. Everything was collected before it was taken out. Dixon thought differently just before burning the bedding. And the sheet falls open. Mm -hmm. There's nothing cut out of it. They're all intact. Yeah, no samples taken. There were no samples taken. Wampler wouldn't talk on camera, but told me over the phone, that's not true. About a week before he was murdered, Eric was with a woman named Diana at his house at night when... Again, knock at the door. It happened twice. Each time Eric answered, Nobody was there. Wampler tells me they later investigated Diana's ex, the father of her child. A man Wampler tells me is capable of the stalking-like behavior that night and who's still high on the list of suspects. There are at least two people that if I could, I would have them arrested. One is this father of her child and the other is our ex-sheriff. There's been, as, as you pointed out, a lot of uh, crazy conspiracy theories, a lot of interesting ideas. Some of them are, are maybe kind of silly, but there's at least one of them. They're on the right track. Private investigator Coates there tells me that a handful of new informational leads have come to him in just the last couple of months. If you know anything about who killed Eric Tamiyasu, contact us and we'll put you in touch with investigators. Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.